Hey Grace family, it's Pastor Shane here at the middle of the last week of April and the end of the month of April, the end of what it will be a memorable month for all of us and a historic month in this world. I don't think that we have gotten used to or seen the end of all the changes that we have been going through because of the pandemic. But I wanted to encourage you today with something about God that doesn't change and that you can count on right now in the middle of a vastly and quickly changing world. I don't know if you are like me, but you probably have lost track of all the social changes during this pandemic. But what we're going to talk about today is God's grace and that it is, in fact, unchanging. That's the message that we're going to hear in this word of the week, God's unchanging work. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to going out in public or driving down the road and seeing people go past me with scarves or handkerchiefs that look like bandanas tied around their faces. Every time I do, I can only imagine that they are pretending to be in the Old West and going to rob a bank. Um, but obviously they're not. Thankfully they're not. They're wearing those things to protect themselves and others during this time. But that's something that has changed. It's not something that was normal before all of this happened. But with all the changes that we've seen in the past couple of months, for us as God's children, it has certainly been a time of refocusing on the truth about God's sovereign, almighty, unchanging authority over all things. We have heard this fact repeatedly. We have shared this fact with one another. We have posted this fact on the internet. And I preach this truth to you continuously. And I pray that with all of that, that you are indeed living in the light of this truth of God's sovereign authority over all things at all times. And there are other things about God's unchanging person and nature that we need to be focused upon as well during this time, that we may be blessed by them and changed by them. One of those is the fact of the work of the Holy Spirit in your life to change you. For, ex for example, the Holy Spirit's work is unchanging and unceasing. No matter what else is changing and or has come to a halt in your life because of COVID-19. This is so important to remember during this time so that this season in your life can be one of humbly yet confidently seeking and knowing Christ. It is also a necessity so that you can fight the spiritual discouragement and spiritual laziness that often creeps in during times like these where there are so many external uncertainties. And instead, so that you can be victorious in your growth in the Lord. The fact is this. With all the disruptions going on in the world, the Holy Spirit hasn't missed a beat. He's still doing his transforming work in the world and in you by his almighty, unchanging, never failing power. He's still enabling you to know, to seek God, to know him, and to be changed to be like Christ. He tells us that he does this in the book of Galatians chapter 4 from his word. Verses 6 and 7 in Galatians 4 tell us this, And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. 
And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. The work of the Holy Spirit enables you to know and to fellowship with God as your father and to look forward to the promise of your inher- your heavenly inheritance through Christ. In Galatians 5, verses 22 through 25, God's word tells us this about the Spirit's working. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. The Spirit is the one who produces these fruits of Christ-like nature in your life, in your heart, which is a terrific change from who you are on your own and how you used to be before you knew Jesus. That's the work the Holy Spirit is doing continually, unceasingly, unchanging, no matter what else is changing. In his book, How Does Sanctification Work?, David Pallison says, The Holy Spirit pours God's love into our hearts. He enables me to say, Father. He goes about the business of faith, hope, love, humility, joy, and peace. This is the work that the Holy Spirit is about. This is the work that he is about right now. This is the work he wants you to join him in by submitting to his gracious encouragement and strength to help you seek Christ and to know him and to be like him. This is the grace of God that's unchanging. This is the work of God that is unchanging. Count on it and join him in it. God bless you, Grace family. And I pray these things for you, that in this season, you will indeed take opportunity to seek the Lord anew and afresh and with increasing hope and desire um, and belief in what he is doing and wants to do in you to make you like Christ and to be his light in this world. I want you to know that I'm praying that for you. I'm praying that with you. And I um, desire that very much for you in this time so that you can look back on this time it's not just a time that you went through a pandemic, but a time that you went through some awesome spiritual renewal and growth. So look forward to the next days and weeks, however long this continues for that. And so that you may look forward to God's working in your life for the rest of your life. Please know that Lisa and our family love you very much. And if there is anything you need us to pray for specifically uh, about, let me know. If there's any way that I can help you during this time, I'm still and very much here for you. And I'll be glad beyond words to do so. So please let me know. In the meantime, the Lord bless and keep you and you take part in what he is doing to change you. Seek him in his word and in prayer and through whatever means of fellowship are available um, right now and in any other and all other ways that he lays on your heart that he wants to direct and change and draw you to him. Follow him in those so that you may be blessed by his unchanging work and unchanging grace at work in your life in this season and always. 
God bless you. In Jesus' name, take care, Grace Baptist.